Placoderms possessed bone in their skeleton, especially in the head region. There were small dermal bones which made up the skull, and in primitive forms the skull may consist largely of these, so this may represent the ancestral structure. In addition, there was also a large head shield uh, made of big bony plates which could be five centimeters thick. Now these large bony plates are not homologous to the skull bones which would be found in the bony fish. Uh, in addition, uh, there was a trunk shield. In some groups, the head shield is uh, small and the trunk shield is more prominent. Uh, in others, it is the reverse. There is in some groups a space uh, on the dorsal side of um, the body between the trunk and the head shields known as the nuchal gap. Uh, the gills probably expelled water through a space between the trunk and head shields. Teeth were largely absent in this group. Instead, bones in the skull region, known as nathal bones, um, probably performed a, a function similar to teeth. Some were sharp for piercing, others were blunter and for crushing. Some uh, may have allowed for filter feeding. A few do have enamel-like structures in the mouth, and it is possible that tooth-like structures made of enamel evolve separately uh, in a few lineages, separate from the teeth of other uh, vertebrates. The back was supported, uh, supported by a notochord with ossified neural uh, arches. Uh, there were pelvic fins in most of the placoderms, uh, although a few lack them, and it is possible that uh, pelvic fins, a characteristic of the jawed vertebrates, evolved uh, inside the placoderm group.